um, sorry, the dryer's going, and if you hear the kids screaming, I don't think she is, but she doesn't want to go down for an AP. So. This is the food and drink and edible portion of my January 2020 empties. So I'm going to dig into this because we've got a big pile of stuff. First are the Trader Joe's Chocolate Lava Noki that everybody has been talking about. Um, I didn't really like these. They were okay. They weren't bad. I just, I didn't particularly like them. And they kind of look like poop. Especially if you have a dog, cat, or small child. I'm sorry. They do. Did you try these? So I probably won't get these again. Look. It's not my thing. It looks nasty. Uh, um, it's probably not very fair, but I'm not really a fair person. This has been in my fridge for a while, and it finally like died, and I had to toss it. It's really good. It's just really potent, so it's hard to finish it. It's the Miyoko's Cheese Wheel in Garlic Herb. It is really good. It's just very, very potent. So it was hard to finish. Um, I know you tried this. Did you want to say anything about this? That no, wasn't really my thing. Um, I might get it again, but it would have to be put for like a really specific craving or something because they're kind of pricey and knowing that it's hard to finish. I do have my recycling in my trash right here. Do you want to have a go? The Great Value Extra Calf Coffee Pods. Um, tasted bad. Good amount of caffeine. Wasn't bad. Needed uh, cream really to make it more palatable. Do you need to buy more? No. Nah. I mean, I like dark roast coffees. Like I like Italian and French roasts. So I'm a little fancier than that, I guess. There is reading a Brian Bliss quote. Uh, Tazo Ice Mango Green Unsweetened Ice Tea. Um, these are good. I like the other iced tea I had better. Uh, it's not something I need to have, but if I see them at the discount store, I might pick up some ice pods. I'm probably more inclined to pick up the other ones I had before, the black tea ones, which is odd for me. But, yeah, they're okay. Um, oh, here, here's one for you, dear. This is the um, Beverage of Pai Du Yang Yan. Oh, that thing is disgusting. I don't know where it came from. Neither do I, but it was awful. So we would obviously not buy this. No. Um, another set of pods, the Land Lakes. Um, cocoa Classics Arctic White Hot Cocoa Pods. These are good, um, and I like having hot chocolate in pods. I wouldn't be totally opposed to buying them again, but I do prefer regular hot chocolate. The white hot chocolate just weirds me out because it's, like, chocolatey, but it's white. I don't know why. I like white chocolate. They're good. They're just not quite as chocolatey as cho brown chocolate ones. I don't know if any of that made sense. So if I saw them really cheap and they didn't have other ones, I might, but I'd probably go more for the Swiss Miss, because that's what I usually tend to buy. Okay, let me just... So, as y'all know, River has always absolutely loved dried fruits and vegetables. And lately, she has been on a kick where that is the only format in which she will eat any fruits or vegetables. Therefore, this happened. And these are just the ones that got saved. My mom doesn't save all of them. She eats them at mom and dad's house. And she eats them up front at my parents' office. I get some of the ones from up front, but not all of them. Um, some of these I bought her. Some of these my parents have. <coughs> There's Trader Joe's. I probably was the one that bought it. Um, so let me try and get some organization here. Layla. Um, green peas. These are all freeze-dried or dried fruits and vegetables. Uh, these are peas. These are the Trader Joe's inner peas. Um, 
And then my parents get her the Harvest Snaps. So we got one lightly salted and one Caesar. She will eat these with any seasoning. Yes, she even eats the wasabi ones. Um, she loves these. She, these are one of her favorite snacks. And I don't know about mom's stash, but our stash is out. So I need to buy some more of these. Um, I usually get them at Trader Joe's just because I'm getting everything else there, but they sometimes have the wasabi ones or other weird flavors at the dollar store in town. Like I said, she will eat any flavor. She loves these. And I need to buy her more. Um, what? I love you. The Trader Joe's Just Beats. She loved these when she was smaller. Now she just likes them. We've still got one or two packages somehow. So I don't need to buy any of these right now. These are ones that I buy like once in a while. Not every time nowadays. Uh... Her always and forever obsession is the Trader Joe's Crispy Crunchy Broccoli, which we are out of. Mom and Dad found another brand of this. It's really big bags. I don't know where they get it. Um, I don't have any of those bags right now. But I need to buy her more of this because she's obsessed with it. I usually buy it three bags at a time, and we go to Trader Joe's about once a month. And that's not enough, but this stuff is expensive. So I need to buy her some more of that. I have a notebook here. I'm going to write this down. Um, see, I've already got dried broccoli on my list. And I need to put dried peas on my list. Uh, let's see, I think I've already got bananas and apples on here. Okay. Uh, what I tend to do as well is when we go to Trader Joe's, I just ask her what she wants, fruits and veg, and then I pick those up. So, these are the Trader Joe's freeze-dried Fuji apple slices. She liked these. She wanted apples that day. She liked these. Um, she went in and out of spurts of them. So, these were like a moderate like. Um, she's got some Honeycrisp apples dried up front. But she has requested I get her more dried apples, so I will pick up some more of those. Um, what's that? Freeze-dried blueberries. She goes in spells with these, and when she gets in a spell, she eats through the whole package, but she's not in the mood for them right now. So next time she asks for blueberries, I'll probably pick her up some of these, but they were a hit. Um, the seasoned kale chips. Not so much. Um, these were like a minor like. She liked them, but she had to really be in the mood for them, and I probably wouldn't pick them up again unless she specifically asked for them. Trader Joe's freeze-dried banana slices are on my list to pick up, and she has already requested more of these, and she absolutely loves these. She's also gotten to where she likes the regular banana chips, the regular dried ones. We can get those at the Dollar Store in town. Uh, Papa keeps her stocked up on those. Papa is my dad. Hi. The other thing Papa keeps her stocked up on from the dollar store are these So Natural freeze-dried strawberries. Um, these are like whole strawberries freeze-dried, and she will eat them a package at a time. She loves these, and like I said, Papa keeps her stocked up on these. So she's already got more of those up front. Um, a couple of my snacks. These are the... Trader Joe's Roasted and Salted Truffle Marcona Almonds. These were so good. I didn't, I'd never heard of Marcona Almonds before, just like almonds, but these were really, really, really good, and I want to get another package of these if they have them next time I'm there. And then these are the Trader Joe's Oven Baked Cheese Bites with Black Summer Truffle. These are really, really good. I might get them again, but they're not a must-have, mostly because they're cheese and I'm allergic, so I can only have a few at a time. Plus, they're really potent, and even if I wasn't allergic, I could only eat a few at a time. So they were really good, and I'd like to get them again, but I think it's like a one or two bags of season kind of thing for me. You have opinions about these. They were very fragrant, and they had a very strong truffle flavor to them. I wasn't really a big fan. I thought you liked them. They were alright, but like, they, 
They left a lingering taste in my mouth for a while. Mm. It's just I could feel it degrade with the quality, so I didn't really like them. I don't know you did. These, I really want to talk about these. These are the new Country Crop, crop Plant Butter. Country I've got, got almond oil and olive oil. They also have avocado oil, but I didn't get that one because I'm allergic to it. Um, these are so good. So the only fake butter that I've found that tastes remotely close to real butter is this stuff and the Miyoko's. And the Miyoko's has a bite, kind of like yogurt does. And this does not. Plus, I can get this at my regular grocery store. I don't have to go 30 minutes away to Trader Joe's or Whole Foods to get it. You get more sticks in the package, and it is the same price as regular butter. It does not cost more. It's the same price. So, the almond versus the olive, honestly, they tasted about the same to me. But I like the olive just like a smidge more, so I'll probably get the olive oil again. Um, this is already on my list. I need to get more. I love this stuff. It works because it tastes good. I lick the knife just like I would with real butter. I put it on my raviolis. And it's a little bit softer than real butter, so it works great on pancakes too. But it's not so soft that it's like, it doesn't work in stick form. This stuff is awesome. Highly, highly recommend. And I'm so happy it exists. It's really good. So yes, I need to get more of those. I'm going to write down that I want the olive oil so I don't forget. I have my grocery list next to me. I really need to get groceries, but our, um, our budget is a little bit shot right now. Let's see here. Okay. So I've got some tea from my Sip Spy boxes. I have unboxings of those on my channel. Check those out if you haven't already. I've got one tea that is not from my Sip Spy. So this is the Flower Pot Tea Company. I don't remember the flavor, but this came in my most recent box. It was a blooming tea. Um, it was good. It wasn't amazing. And I'm not huge on blooming teas because I can never get them to work right. I, I don't know. I follow the instructions. They just don't work right. So I probably wouldn't. I know I wouldn't buy that again. This is the Savoy Tea Company Peppermint Mate. This was good. Um, it was different, but it's not my favorite peppermint tea, so I wouldn't buy this one again. But I have got some other ones from Savoy that I'm testing out. Um, then Alex used these. These are two packets of English breakfast tea from the tea book. So Alex, what did you think of these? Would you buy them? Uh, they were too pricey, yeah. That's pretty good. I prefer Twinings, obviously, but that's still pretty good. Okay, so do I need to make a point to buy a box of this, or are you happy with your Twinings? I'm happy with what I got, unless those end up like at the same price or cheaper or something that I might consider it. Yeah. And um, I did order some other stuff from this brand as well to try out, so keep an eye out for that. Kind of hard to screw up English breakfast. Okay, this one is Traditional Medicinals Chamomile with Lavender. This is fine, but I was kind of like, I mean, it's chamomile. It's just kind of like, eh, it's nothing super fancy or new. So it's kind of like sad that it took up a spot in my box, but it was good. It was fine. Um, I like chamomile. I should probably honestly be drinking it more because I haven't been sleeping good. I didn't think of it. Um, I like chamomile. I usually get the... You're beautiful. How are you? What's the brand I get? Celestial Seasonings Chamomile. So I probably wouldn't buy this. And then this is from a local tea company. Um, I want to get more of this. This is Traveling Tea. Uh, if you're in the St. Louis area, they, their shop is in Maplewood, Missouri. But there's the website. This is the Mango and Friends. Um... This was really, really good. I've had this little sample packet in my stash for a while, and I finally opened it up. This was really, really good. I love this, and I definitely want to get some more of this. I'm part of a Red Dwarf group on Facebook, and someone posted something from Penzies, our Penzies. Oh. It was a Vindaloo seasoning, of course. Nice. <laughs> 
chicken vindaloo and a beer flavored milkshake. That's a fine breakfast. This was <laughs> given to me. It's called, it's the Fresh Success Tropical Mango Smoothie Mix. Um, you're supposed to mix it with fresh mango, water, and ice cubes. I just mixed it with some frozen mangoes I had in the freezer that I need to use up, and it was so good. I've been trying to make it. smoothies out of those frozen mangoes since I got the bag and none of them have turned out good. This one did. So I've got to figure out where I can get more of this because I really want those mangoes out of my freezer. And that's why it's in the um, empties because I need to figure out what store and what area of the store carries this. So it's totally going on the grocery list. Wait, fresh success. This is the um, Halo Top Dairy Free Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough Ice Cream. Alex put this in there. I ate this. It was good. But um, chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream is vanilla ice cream with chocolate chip cookie dough in it, right? This was cookie dough ice cream with cookie dough in it. I wouldn't buy this again. It was fine. I ate it because it didn't have any other ice cream that wouldn't make me sick. But I would not buy this flavor again. It was weird. Not my thing. They have it at Walmart. That looks like that's not the flavor you want, but I'll search around it. Well, just tell me which section does it go in? Um, what can they have? I'll let you know as soon as I'm okay. okay. And then this is the McCormick Grill Mates Montreal Steak Seasoning. Scott loves this. He uses it for everything. Um, I put this on burgers, and the guys really liked it. Um, I've got another one already. Alan, can you give your it's opinion on this? pretty much the same as Canadian Steak Seasoning. It's, uh, that's all right. Uh, it goes good with, in burgers with Worcestershire sauce. That's how I normally like them. Um, on steak, though, I, I, if you put anything other than salt, pepper, and like garlic powder, maybe, maybe green onions, then you're committing a crime. So, but it's not bad for burgers, I guess. So that's that. And that is all of our food and drink edible empties. So questions, comments, opinions, let me know down below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. And there should be another empties video posted tomorrow. Bye!